All right, love them knives. 2023 shot show, and uh, we're at the Cancept booth with Marshall Noble, the designer of the Goblin, right? And yes. And there's going to be a Goblin three coming out soon. later this year, probably oh. for a 2024 product. Okay, so they left him in charge of the booth, and so now we're just going to mess it up. But we're going to talk about the the new offerings for Cancept. Yes. For, so for 2023, we have some. Some exciting new things. One of the, the biggest things we've got going is a smaller Shikari. And this one's a little different. No thumb studs, flipper tab, and button lock. It's a button lock. Wow. With button locks being all the trend right now, this thing is just super fidgety and a little more practical to carry every day in your pocket. So I keep wanting because to go for a liner lock this that's is not the there. Shikari. This is the big dog. Yes. Okay. And it's smaller. And this one is, what, at least nine inches. Yes. And, and this one's more like, what, eight? Uh, probably eight or just shy of eight. Yeah. Um, but this one here is giving you a full three and a half inch blade versus the four inch yeah. here. Oh, gotcha. And you wouldn't think it's a big difference, but I mean, it really, it really is. But then it's now the new one is gone button lock and flipper tab. Correct. And they've deleted the thumb studs and I really think it was a good decision yeah. because now the knife's not only a good practical tool, but it's fidget friendly. And we all know that the knives we can fidget with <laughs> are the ones that spend the most time in our pocket. Yeah, I get you. But that's great. There are some other options. I mean, this is nice to have the yeah, carbon gonna, fiber. But. Like most of the um, Cancepts, they're gonna offer them with various handle materials, various finish treatments. Uh, throughout the process. Ooh, feels light. Yes. But it's full size. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a full okay. size knife. Then uh, next up, we have uh, the Tuckamore. This is a Jonathan Styles design. This knife has to be held to be fully appreciated. So it's got heavily contoured titanium handles, standoffs instead of a backspacer, uh, very large nested. Uh, shred carbon fiber inlays some nice 3d relief milling 3d milled blade these will be an m390 and uh the uh this one has the uh oil slick finished titanium clip okay and all the normal stuff the ceramic bearings lock insert but this one here it's just a nice edc modified sheep's foot and uh it's incredibly light Oh, wow, it is light. You know, I thought this was going to be way heavier than No, it's this deceivingly is... light. Wow. It's not a flipper. Okay, it's not a flipper. No, it's, it's slow this. wall thumb and spidey flip. Okay. Wow. And it's kind of a bolster lock. or uh, It's a nested frame yeah, lock. Yeah, 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 okay. But, no, I mean, when you look at this knife, it jumps out at you, doesn't it? Yes. The design does. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, nice action on it. Yep. Yeah, I, I I am surprised how light. This is super really light. I don't know how light it is, but it. I bet it's three ounces if it's yeah, that. Yeah, it's barely over three ounces. Oh my God! Yeah, and that's that's a three and a half inch blade yes. at least, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So next up is another offering from uh, Jonathan Styles. This is the. The Conier, and uh, named after a bay in uh, Newfoundland where he lives. And uh, this one's got another modified sheep's foot. It's got the integral titanium bolsters, titanium backspacer. This one's got a uh, folded titanium clip and uh, just a traditional bolstered frame lock. Super snappy. And the action on it is disgustingly smooth. Yet, you lock it out, there is zero movement side to side. It is probably, in my opinion, one of the smoothest knives that Cancept has made yet. Wow, that's a hell of a drop, isn't it? Yep. And one of the oh, things wow. that I think is going to excel about this one is while it is a completely different design, different lock system, opening mechanisms, and everything from the 940, it's in the 940 size, and it has a lot of the styling attributes as far as slim carry the mod the beefed up modified point 
with the modified sheep's foot here. Uh, it's going to hit a lot of the cues that people like out of the Benchmade 940. So I think oh, it's going to yeah, find yeah. a following. Most people haven't seen it, but they pick it up and start handling it, and there's, there is some similarity there without being a copy. Absolutely. Wow, that's nice. Okay. So then we, uh, we also have uh, the Arcus. This is new. Again, nested frame locks. Nice milled pocket clip. The line cut out for the uh, lock relief. And a nice long slender sheep's foot blade with a subtly curving puller. Um, they be, a big styling cue of uh, Ostep Hell is arcs and arcing lines, portions of a circle in his uh, design methodology. And you see that reflected here in the long arc that makes the spine of the knife. And uh, this is just a nice, simple, slender knife. Slender knives seem to be a thing that's coming back around again. And uh, this is one of the ones I'm more excited about of the new releases. Yeah, oh wow, this is, uh, yeah, but this is a good sized knife. I yeah. mean, lengthwise. Yeah, but it's not gonna be a lump in your pocket. No, and it's very light. Yes. Very light. Oh, it's got a nice little drop to it. Yep. Yeah. It, this is a design that jumps out at you, too. Yes. It is. And and Cancept's kind of knocked it out of the park this year with the designers and makers they're collaborating with. I haven't been able to spidey flick that one. Either. I've tried. <laughs> Ooh, it's, but it's so, yeah, this is really light and it feels as well. really good in the hand. Yeah. I mean, i um, surprised. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't make this a front flipper. Yeah. Because he's been doing a lot of those. Yes. But, uh, okay. Yeah, this is, it's interesting that they use this lime green G10. Yeah, they'll, and there'll be other options available for it. I know they're offering it in a bronze inlay and uh, a few others. Yeah, this is, this is cool. I like this. So then we have another O-Stop Hell design. Uh, this one's called the Quillen, named for a mythological uh, kind of chimera uh, oh, creature from okay. China. Uh, and uh, this one's a little more budget friendly. It's got the uh, bent steel clip, steel liners, some really nice carbon fiber on it. Again, with that subtly sweeping puller and a, a more traditional Tonto point. But this one is just a very comfortable uh, knife to hold in the hand, very lightweight, and uh, just a very user-friendly design. Yeah. Uh, I, I like this design too. Yeah, I do. Uh, and it feels good in the hand. Yes. Interesting, the fuller, how it runs along there. Yeah. Yeah, light, slender, O step L, right? I like it. Yeah. So then we have the Matto. This is a Marcus Valella design. He's an Italian knife maker. And uh, this one here, to me, stands out because of the handle choices. So we've got the carbon fiber scales with the yellow G10 inlays that not only give it a modern look, but also kind of a classic look. I, I look at this knife and I think Bugatti's. Mm -hmm. You know, that yeah. kind of two-tone paint job that Bugatti's have. And it is a front flipper. And you can just cycle it over the top. It's also got the cutout for the, the Spidey flick. Deep pocket carry. Just nice, clean lines, full-length composite backspacer. And uh, these will be an S35BN. And uh, again, another very lightweight knife. Italian. Okay. That is wild, isn't it? The black carbon fiber with the yellow? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're doing a really great job in selecting designs from their collaborators this year. And uh, I think it's going to serve the company well. So now we have the uh, Turico. And this one is just a straightforward front flipper. 
has a nice uh, inset lanyard pin, milled clip, some stylish uh, decorative machining on the outside, and they tied in the, the front flipper to match the lines of the knife very well. So it doesn't, even though it's a large flipper, it doesn't jump out in your face like it doesn't belong. And it is a snappy opening knife. It just pops open, comfortable in the hand, just a great all-around EDC design, and not too big. Is that an in-house design? No, this one, I forgive me, I forget the name of the designer off the top of my head, Jared Price. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, most of these I didn't get to see until the opening of the show, <laughs> so I've been like cramming to, yeah, I bet. to get all the information I can on them. Hopefully they got you some some help here, right? Yes. Everything decided to get busy when he went to go have lunch. Well, yeah. And lunch smells good, too, down yeah. here. It does. <laughs> okay. So, and then we have uh, the Red Base. Is that Coke Tools? No, this is um, 4T5 Designs, Alex. Oh, wow. And uh, it's just a beefy little folder. It's called the Refe. It's got the niche in the blade. Uh, they don't call it a bottle opener, but it's basically a bottle opener. And uh, it's a very stout knife for its size. And you've got the benefit of steel liners for uh, strength while uh, keeping things minimalist. Nice milled pocket clip. And uh, the micarta on these is so nice. Wow, that's, uh, yeah. Kind of a, a smaller knife, but hey, if it's got a bottle over it, it's good, right? Yeah, and you can feel it. I mean, it's that's a stout blade, so it's going to do some work for is you. Is this going to be what kind of blade steel? Um, S35BN. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. And, uh, and it's a front flipper. And a flipper. And the flipper tab flipper on it is a little different. Here. You're pushing straight back yeah. instead of in. So it's definitely a light switch. Yep. Okay, that's that's way different. That's for sure. Yep. Okay. And uh, one of the other offerings we have here, uh, this SHOT Show, is the Anomaly Dirk Pinkerton design. This one's been done really classy with the gold hardware, nice finished carbon fiber. It's just a straightforward EDC knife, not overly fancy. Just a good functional tool, really snappy action. And these, uh, these a lot of people seem to be drawn to. They've been yeah. one of the more popular designs here at the show. Yeah, I like it. Pinkerton, huh? Yep. It's light. Yes, very light. Um, what is that? Three and a quarter, maybe? I think it's right about three. Okay. Yeah, I like the fact it's a liner log and it's got carbon fiber on both sides. Yep. It and looks they will, uniform. They will be offering it in a titanium frame lock as well. Okay. This one's been out a little longer. That's a newer variation. And that's got the tonneau point versus the uh, traditional belly. Yeah. And no spidey flick on this one either, no. I don't think. And, nope. Because the blade goes into the handle just like that. Wow. Yep. It's pretty flush there. Yeah, but, a lot yeah. of the tension is being put into the design on the knives they're selecting. And uh, I think it's greatly benefiting Tancept because it's building a, a style of their own in the company. I mean, you can start to see how Tancept, just in appearance, the aesthetic design appearance, they're finding their own niche to where you can know it's a concept at a glance. Yeah. Another one that I think is really nice. This came out for 2022, and uh, uh, this is the uh, Nest Street, or no, the Fenrir. Sorry, yeah. the Fenrir. Uh, but they're offering it now in the stainless Damascus and the uh, uh, folded Focus titanium. Yeah. yeah, and uh, just a really classy. That's, nice. yeah, that's outstanding, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. 
I think I had one with G10 or something like that. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Yes. And um, you don't see many production knives nowadays that have both the Damascus blade and the folded titanium. Yeah, that's handsome. Yep. Good looking Without baby. being overkill. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the knives can get too busy with the exotic materials. Yeah, well, and then you got the, um, oh God. What's Justin Lindquist, Reverie. Reverie, yeah, Reverie. Yeah. yeah, I've got the Reverie, this one. Yeah, which yeah is these just came looking. out with the Tiffany Blue G10. I like that. Okay, yep. I like that. And yeah, with the Damascus, yeah. Okay, okay. That's a great lineup. Yep. Is there anything out? These look like they've already... These have already Most of these have yet. been out for a year or so. Um, we do have a new variation on the egress. So this one here, and uh, it's got the cutout uh, plus the traditional front flipper, and then they've added a harpoon to it. And then this one's being offered in the uh, Jade G10 rather than just the um, shred carbon fiber. And uh, I like this one a little more with that harpoon. Just makes it a little more aggressive. And the uh, addition of the cutout gives another option to opening it. Yeah, I like it. I like it better with the cutout and the harpoon. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, taking us on the tour. No there's, problem. There's thank a, you for coming by. There's a lot to digest here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot here this year, and uh, a lot of companies have bringing, been bringing a lot of good offerings to the market, yeah. so the competition is real, and Cancept's paying attention to make sure that they keep their place in the market. Perfect. Okay. Right. Thank you. Have a great show. Thank you. You too.